Hi there and welcome to our Gold Star YouTube channel and today I want to take you through a process on how to create a desk ticket in desk. Um, so this has been one of the requests we have been getting quite a lot. So go and make sure you're logged into desk. This is our demo system. So you can go into login from multiple places. If you're already in Zoho One, you can go in here and it'll take you directly to desk. And then you'll be presented with typically this normal overview. And then in the top right hand corner, you have add ticket. Go to add ticket. And then you can start adding your, your details. So contact name is when you can actually search the lookup. So for us, we've got a couple of uh, test records in here. So Chris Mar Mariner, I can then select that the account is then selected. Now, if you have multiple accounts connected, this is when you can actually change them. Now you can see here, we've got a Zoho one, so I might want to change that if I wish. Automatically the email comes through and the telephone number based off of contact. I'm then gonna put a subject line. So this is a desk ticket for our YouTube demo. Then I give it a description. So this is the description of the actual issue or the information you want to provide. Now, what you can see here, you've got multiple options here where you can bold, italic, and most of the normal, typical um, ability to add things like lists and indents, and if you wanted to uh, change, change it to plain text. Next, you've got the option of the status. Now, status in desk is quite an important area. So you can customize this for, uh, for demo purposes. We've got open, on hold, escalated and closed. Now, at the minute, it's going to be open. And then we've got our ticket owner. So that's who's going to be assigned that particular ticket. So I'm going to set that as Layla. Um, then based on the default, we've got product name. I'm not going to go through that today. And then we've got a due date. So if you have SLA switched off it switched on in desk, you can actually set your SLAs as well. And I can set a date when I want it to be ready. My priority, this also can be hooked into your SLAs as well. So default is high, medium, low. I'm going to set it to medium today. And then I've got my channel. Now, often when you've got a web form connected or you might have other automations like Facebook or WhatsApp, they, this channel will be automatically selected. This typically, if you've got a telephone call, you'd be set setting the channels being phone. Language, I'm not going to worry about that too much today. And then classifications. This again, you can customize quite extensively if you wish to. And it is, it's a great option where you might have sales teams, you might have finance or other kind of different um, different classifications. It might even be different departments and you can kind of work with departments if you want to in a different way. Um, and then you've got attachments. So you can go off and create yourself an attachment, add the attachment in. It might be a screenshot. It could be anything in particular. And you can browse the files if you so wish and then add them from there. Once you've submitted the ticket, you then see all the information about the ticket you just put in. So you've got contact information, key information, ticket information, and then additional information. Please just note that the additional information is where you can actually make some updates uh, to the different fields you have. If you like that video, uh, feel free to like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you've got any other videos you'd like to see or hear about, then please uh, let us know.